guys, welcome back, Bare Knuckle Scene UK. Um, I have with me Jack Gibbons, who is heavyweight Bare Knuckle fighter. Jack, absolute pleasure to have you on, buddy. How are you doing? Yeah, good, thanks, mate. Good. Happy days. So, Jack, um, obviously I know that you've got the the title fight upcoming with Simon YouTube Wars October 21st. That's against Gary Slater. Um, yeah. But I, I really sort of am looking forward to find out sort of more about you and your journey and what brought you into Bare Knuckle and then obviously what's happened from making the, the debut to, to where you are today, really. Um, yeah. So to take it back then, Jack, where was sort of home for you growing up? Uh, home, I grew up in a little town called Colville in Leicestershire. Um, it's It's a bit... It's a bit ropey around here, but it's not it's not the worst place I've been to, not the best, but it's all good. I still call it home, so that's a that's the main thing. So how how was how was childhood and growing up for you? Have you got siblings or Yeah, yeah, it's childhood was good. Um initially I had uh, I had three brothers, one sister. Uh, unfortunately lost one brother in a car accident. Um but yeah, no, it, childhood was great. Growing up was brilliant. Um, I had quite a few deaths in my family, which isn't the conventional way for, for any child to, to deal with, but it became the norm in a way, which was a bit, a bit crap, but it is what it is. Um, life don't, don't teach us lessons for a reason, eh? Um, but yeah, no, it, it, in all honesty though, me, me growing up, uh, my childhood, all that sort of stuff was, was just fine. Um, yeah, really, really good growing up really. How how were you through school in teenage years as such? Were, were, were you happy at school? Were you or, or not for you? Yeah, no, it was a nightmare. Um I'm a I'm one of these kids who uh I'm a hands-on learner, kinesthetic learner. Um so the conventional way of learning wasn't wasn't my sort of forte. Although I, I come out with uh I think it was twelve C's and above in my GCSEs and all that stuff. So I've done all right in the end, but it was um it was it was a bit of a pain. Uh, I was a I was a I was a problem. Uh, considering what I'm six foot tall, I've not grown since I was twelve years old. Um, I was a big kid. You know what I mean? Uh, so yeah, it was uh, it was it was eventful. <laughs> I can imagine as well. Um, you sort of becoming a target if you're such a big a big kid at that point. Yeah. Everyone wants to sort of. Prove a point, don't they? Or hundred you know. percent. I was I was arrested quite a lot as a as a teenager for for fighting and fighting other people's battles, um, which obviously you look back now and you think, yeah, silly. But back then I was loving it. I had a, a reputation around my area with uh, with the, the 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 teenagers and and young adults. So yeah, it was something that I took pride in and something that I don't really give a shit about now. Obviously. No, fair play, fair play. Mm. So it, I'm I'm guessing then from sort of teenage years, getting into the odd scrap here and there, having to, you know, being a target yourself as well because yeah. you're a big guy. Um, at what point did you sort of go from from that to thinking actually, I'm quite good at this fighting game, you know, and and then and then sort of go along that that road? Was it quite? Was uh, it later on in life or? Yeah, I'd I'd say later on. Um... Due to sort of my anger issues as a, as a young teenager, I went into rugby, uh, played rugby for 18 years um, and loved it. Absolutely loved every every bit of it um, until the injuries started to kick in uh, into my late 20s, um, which then I, uh, that's where I found obviously boxing. Um, and I, I kind of wish I'd, I'd found it sooner, definitely. So you were saying then, Jack, when you when you were late twenties, you then started to to think and focus and more on the fighting and the boxing. Yeah, so obviously, um, in my later twenties, um, mainly around the, uh, the 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 lockdown period, uh, my mental health declined massively. Um, I put on a lot of weight. Um, I ended up uh, weighing just over thirty three stone. Um, I was in the Sun newspaper for being one of Britain's fattest men. Um, they've reported my, my journey since as well. 
Uh, I've currently lost 10 stone. Um, I've put a bit of weight on through being in the gym, putting a lot of muscle on. Um, but yeah, it, it, through lockdown, I decided um, enough was enough. Um, and uh, I, I, I had a friend who, who was known on the bare knuckles circuit, Ryan Barrett. Um, he, he offered me sessions, free sessions, uh, two, three, four times a week to train with him. Um, and I fell in love, fell in love with boxing instantly. Uh, I wish I'd done it a lot sooner and not, not, uh, continued with the rugby so much. I'm definitely a, a single man sport with my team behind me instead of being a, um, sort of a team man, because look, you, you can play as hard as you can and still lose a game. Um, in boxing, you fight the best fight of your life. You're going to win regardless. Um, so yeah, it's, it's all in your hands, isn't it? At that point, 100%. it's all in your own hands. Yeah, yeah. quite literally. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I found boxing. Um, and I, I only had my first fight of November last year, um, November twelfth last year, uh, which yeah ended in a draw, but it was it was a uh, it was an experience, definitely. And was that was that bare knuckle, Jack? No, no, I've not fought bare knuckle before. So, okay. Um, yeah, so in that fight, um, I won the first round. I actually got knocked down in the second round. Uh, broke my ankle. Um, got up and won the third round with a broken ankle. Um, due to the knockdown in a three-round fight, obviously it was declared a draw. As for rematch, ain't having none of it, obviously. Um, I boxed his head off, his face was in pieces. And now I was wearing 12 ounce gloves as well. Um, I didn't have a mark on me. I haven't had a mark on me from all my fights. Um, so having my bare knuckle debut against Gary Slater for YouTube heavyweight title is going to be an eventful feeling for me because I feel as though I'm going to have a mark on my face and I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I've been here. I'm not going to... Honestly, in sparring, I've sparred, I've sparred, uh, I've got a good friend, uh, a bloke called Jay Pateman. Um, he's, he's, uh, he, he does, uh, uh, close protection, all this sort of stuff. He's, he's got a world record tied with Eddie Hall for the, um, for a bench press. He's, he's a fucking strong guy. And I'm telling you now, no one's going to hit me harder than that guy. And that guy's hit me. Do you know what I mean? A hell of a lot. And he's bust my face up to fuck. And, um, I can guarantee Gary Slater's punches are going to feel like feathers compared to that guy. So uh, I'll be fine. I've I've been hit plenty of times uh, fighting on the street and whatever else anyway. So uh, especially on the rugby pitch as well, I was uh, a bit of a pain there. But um, being punched isn't something I'm afraid of. Um, I enjoy being punched as much as I enjoy punching people. So it's um, it's it's an exciting prospect for me. Um, I'm four and zero. Well, three wins, one draw, undefeated in, in uh, gloved, um, current WRSA British champion. Uh, in a week and a half, a fight for the BBO uh, Midlands area title. Um, so, yeah, pending. By the end of the year, I'm hoping to, to be holding three belts. Um, in fact, I'm not hoping I will be holding three belts. I know it. Um, I manifest it daily. I think about it constantly. Um, and when your mind's strong, Nothing, nothing can beat you. And ju just to re just to rewind a bit there, then Jack, because on on that same basis as well, like you say, before lockdown, um, you said that you put on a lot of weight. I'm guessing that with with that amount of weight as well, there'd have been medical complications, yeah. and yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, um, so obviously, you know, that is a massive achievement you know not, not even thinking about the boxing but to be able to yeah, yeah, I, come uh, from that you know yeah, I was um, I'm still un well, it's unofficially the heaviest man to ever climb the tallest point in uh, Leicestershire which is Barden uh, Hill um, it's it's six foot off of being a mountain um, and I climbed that at 33 stone that was one of the first things I did on the journey to, to where I am today um, that was an accomplice. That was a goal that I set myself, and within two weeks, I, I did it. Um, it took me what two and a half hours to climb there, climb up and climb down. Um, which to some, it, it, it's it's nothing. It's a it's a dog walk, but to me, at that weight, it was 
at the time my biggest achievement physically that I've ever achieved. Um, I went back and I've, I've been up there got countless times now. Um, I've timed myself once and I went up and down in an hour and 15 minutes. So I've done it in, I can do it in half the time with no effort. Um, so it'd be, it, it's, yeah, it, you, you just got to continue to set goals. If you keep setting goals, then you, you're going to achieve things, obviously. No, I can imagine. I, can, I, I, I just want to say for like for people out there who who may well be in similar circumstance, to be able to see where you've come from there, I think mm. I think it's an unbelievable achievement. To be fair, um, yeah, yeah. To I put it into perspective, I was just over two hundred and ten kilograms, which is like four hundred and sixty something pounds. I was a big guy, six foot tall as well. I was a big guy. <laughs> Yeah, can you imagine what what what's your weight at the moment, Jack? What's your sort of um, fighting weight? I weighed myself two weeks ago. I was one sixty, but I'm currently uh, shifting that quite quite well. So we'll see what I'm like on the fight on fight night. Happy days! And you say you've got yeah. this um, this title shot coming up. It's yeah. quite imminent, isn't it? Really, it's coming up. Um, yeah. Shortly. So yeah, this was meant to be my first title fight. Uh, I was meant to be going into it quite slowly. I weren't meant to fight for a British title. Um, but unfortunately, one of the basically there was a fight um, scheduled. Um, two rivals have been rivals for years. No one could put them together, uh, and unfortunately, one of them uh, um, ended up getting cancer. Um, he's he's still with us today, and he's he's going to be fighting. He's going to get through this, and he's going to win, obviously. Um, but I took his place uh, very late notice. Um, I think it was three or four weeks notice. Um, and I outboxed the guy. He, the guy I fought, is, he's, he'd had 190 odd fights, um, uh, and I outboxed him. Uh, I, I played with him. I was talking to him the whole the whole way through the fight. Um, he couldn't handle me, and uh, I schooled him. And that was my fourth fight. So I, I feel I know my level, but I I value myself highly um, because of my mindset. So. Yeah, so this, so obviously this upcoming title fight, it's against a lad. Uh, can't pronounce his name. It's Al- Alan Zemtoris. He's a he's a Polish lad. Uh, it's for like I say for a Midlands area title, um, at a local event of mine. Um, but yeah, it should be good. Um, Where's the venue, Jack, for that one? Uh, Hood Park Leisure Centre in Aspie de la Zouche. Nice little posh area. I'm sure you know that anyway. Being, oh, yeah, yeah, Derby yeah, yeah. way, isn't it? It's not yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Just just down the road from where I live. Um, but yeah, it should be a good fight. To be fair, he's uh, he's a tough lad, four rounder. Um, but we get knocked out. Simple. It's uh, it's our it's our role. What should what should people do, Jack, if they want to get to that event and and come watch it live? Um, contact me via social media. On my Instagram is Jumbo Jack's Journey. Um, yeah, that's probably the best place to contact me. Um, I don't really respond to much on Facebook. A um, little bit dated now. It's more for family and that Facebook is. Um, but yeah, Instagram, Jumbo Jack's Journey. Just, just drop me a message. I'll reply to everyone. Um, apart from the people trying to pack it and send me nudes. So don't send me dick pics or anything like that. Fucking weirdos. <laughs> <laughs> Uh no, well what we'll do as well, mate, is I'll, I'll add the Instagram into the the link oh. into the description. So guys, if you want to get down to Jack and, and what what's the the title? What's it what's what's it's the title? The, uh, it's the BBO Midlands Area title. Fantastic. So yeah, you can and, and is that September? Is that in the next few weeks? That is September second, so a week on Saturday. Right, okay. So week Saturday, guys, if you're in the area, get down to um Ashby de la Zeus, is it yep. pronounced? Yep. De la Zouch, and, yeah, yeah. De la Zouch, yeah. And um and get down and see it because uh, another thing as well is a lot of people like it but they're not aware of where these events are happening necessarily. Yeah, you know, exactly. so um it's no, it's 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 fantastic that you're there. So uh, the way that I see it, tell me if I'm wrong. If you've been through such a journey as you have and you've had that to battle against and, and overcome, this boxing lack, bare knuckle lack, must seem like a bit of a drop in the ocean. Yeah, so for me, um, I've been asked 
countless times, do you want to go pro? Are you going to go pro? Are you going to do this? Are you going to do that? And I say to them, look, I set goals, I achieve them, and I, I, I set new goals. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be boxing next year. I just don't know. Um, I'm not there yet. I've not decided yet. Um, but I'm, I've got these three dates sorted for, for these next three fights. Um, I fight again, obviously, September 30th for the Athena Theatre um, against a, a, a big lad in, in a lad called Terry Buncher, travelling lad. Um, he's, I think he's about 6'4", 6'5", 25 stone. Big guy. Um, but no, he's, he's, he's a good lad, but he's getting knocked out as well. Um, same with Gary Slater on the 21st. Um, bare knuckle, I think, uh, making my debut there, it's, it's one of them where um, you go for the knockout regardless. You're just there to hurt each other, aren't you? But yeah, boxing to me, yeah, it is a bit of a drop in the ocean compared to, to everything that I've achieved so far. But it's just part of the journey. Hence why it's Jumbo Jack's journey. Um, because... I don't know where it's going to take me, but I do know it's going to take me to places where it isn't in the past. I'm moving forward. That's what I constantly say. I never give up. Um, and for the, the goals that I've set, I, I achieve them because that's that's what I do. It's, um, it's as simple as that. Where, where do you get your strength and support from, Jack? Is it family, friends? No. Myself, it's my obsession with with achieving my goals. It's my mindset. I don't have a a weak mindset. I don't allow myself to to go back and um it, into that state where I was when I hit thirty three stone. Um, obviously I've got support. Obviously I've got friends, family, uh, loved ones who who support me. But for me, my I don't I don't sort of have motivation. I have obsession. Motivation means nothing to me. Motivation is something that come and comes and goes, and you decide there and then whether you do something about it. Um, I, 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 I work with obsession. Simple as that. If I'm not obsessed with something, I'm not going to do it. Um, so I make myself obsessed. It's as simple as that. I, I, yeah, I don't know what else I can say regarding that. It's, it's just. All in, all in, all, all in yourself, basically. You've yeah, got this, yeah. Not, you know, your mindset's got to be strong. I've got a very strong mindset. Um, like, like yourself, I've achieved a lot so far in the last what three years. Um, and I'm this is this is nothing compared to what I'm going to achieve in the future. Um, I have a lot of goals that I don't tell people. I'm never going to tell people, but I'm just going to continue to achieve them. And people are going to be like, "Fucking hell, I remember him. He used to be that fat cunt." Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, it's it's uh, it's an exciting prospect to think about. Massive, massive respect as well for that because to be able to to smile and put two fingers up to whoever you know, I mean, it's hey, it's it's yeah. and, and and you know, opinions mean nothing to me. Credit Anyone's to you, would I? No, I appreciate yeah. it. Like you say, though, it, I I don't care about the haters. I love them because they're still watching me. Opinions of people mean nothing. The only opinions I value is my coach and myself. That is it. Um, the opinion of my missus, my kids, my mum, my dad, my friends. Um, essentially, and I don't mean this disrespectfully to them, but if they're watching it, they, they don't mean anything when it comes to my goals. Um, their opinions, that is, not them in general. Um, can't get in trouble with the missus. Um, but yeah, no, it's it's look. I, I I value people's opinions, but it doesn't mean they're right. So, um, but then it doesn't mean they're wrong. But we'll see. Sure, and and I, I think um, it's going to be really interesting for people as well to to actually see that you were against so much in life, mm. and actually you found the the strength and the inner strength to actually overcome it. Um, yep. Hello, who's this you're putting on? So, Jack, what has made you then think you've had your four boxing fights, you've got two two more upcoming. Is yeah. the first bare knuckle the 21st against Gary Slater then? Yeah, that's my debut bare knuckle, yeah. And what's made you even sort of say, right, I want to do bare knuckle, I want to, you know... Yeah, I think for me, since starting boxing, obviously training with a bare knuckle boxer himself in Ryan Barrett, um... 
I've always had it in the back of my mind. And then once I, I split from Ryan and moved to uh, a gym called Motivate and Ashby, um, thanks to James Bryan, who, who fights a Spartan, um, he's he's convinced me, well, not convinced me, I think that's the wrong word, but he, he, he said to me, he said, look, it's up to you, but I think you'll do well. And I said, you know what, mate, I think I will. Um, and I... I messaged Simon. I asked for the Gary Slater fight. Didn't know it was going to be for a title. I just asked for the Gary Slater fight. I've seen him fight twice. Um, and I said, look, that's that's a bit of me, that is. I don't want someone who's lost. I want someone who's, who's, who's fucking won. Um, so, yeah, that's uh, that's what I thought. And, yeah, be, being trained by by someone in Liam Parker, who's the, the main coach at Motivate, um, it's, it's something that, that you can only dream of, do you know what I mean? He's he's a top bloke. Uh, James Bryan, brilliant as well. He's helped me so much, so much without him even realising. Um, and yeah, uh, I went and watched him at his last um, last fight where he fought uh, Bucky Van Wallace, I think it was, um, at Spartan Wars. And um, yeah, Jimmy, James just uh, decimated him. Um, and I thought, this is a bit of me, this is. So, uh yeah, I thought I'll give it give it a go. Like I say, drop Simon a message from YouTube Wars, um, and uh, the rest is history. We're uh, we've all set. Happy day, and I can't wait to uh, to see it as well. I've said, because I saw Gary at the last YouTube Wars, so um, yeah, to see you both and 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 yourself especially looking forward to the twenty first. I think the, the the actual fight card itself now is really looking. Yeah, looking yeah, good for the second event. Yeah, I'm hoping to get down to uh, September 9th as well for uh, Spartan Wars three. I think it is. Um, yeah, that'd be good. I've got um, I've got someone else I know, Tyron Eilith, making a, his debut. Um, I think he's like six six, fights a cruiserweight. He's a fucking tall lad, bless him. But he's fighting in the pit, which I think is fucking crazy. He should be in a fucking ring. They've got a guy of his height, you know what I mean? Using his uh, using his reach and that. But look, he, he makes his own decisions as well. But yeah, I'm, I'm hoping to get down there because obviously I want to support James as well in his European fight. Um, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Happy days. And can you see yourself sort of now? I know you've got your first date um, set for the 21st for the title fight with Gary Slater. Can you see yourself sort of following on with the bare knuckle route, or you doing more gloves yeah. again, or I don't know. I literally, don't, I don't know. I feel like the Gary Slater fight is going to be a bit of a um, a taster. Do you know what I mean? Win, lose, or draw, it doesn't matter to me. Um, I'm still winning. So, yeah, it's 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 going to be a learning experience, regardless. Although I am going to win, um, I've manifested it. Like I keep saying, I've manifested it. I've I think about it every single second of every day. It's something I'm, 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 I'm going to achieve. I know as well. Um, like you say with the Gary Slater fight, this I, I, is is the four title. I think four title fights on this next um, yeah. YouTube wars, and then obviously there's the YouTube belt which Simon announced. I think that's set for January. Um, yeah, yeah. But I, I think again that's Gary Slater. And Ash Douglas. Um, yeah, I think that's a it's an open weight belt, isn't it? Um, yeah, I did say I said why I did ask Simon the question why is Gary fine Gary fine for that when he's not even fought me? What happens if I decimate him? Then what? Then he gets to fight for a belt yeah. and I don't. Do you know what I mean? So um, I think there'll be further discussions about that anyway. Um, but look, like, yeah, I'm looking forward to it with the other title fights as well. I've got a good friend in Tim Scott fighting for the light heavyweight uh, title as well. Uh, he's, he's from East, East, the East End in London. Really, really good lad. Fucking fitness fanatic. Um, X-Forces. Um, I think it's RAF he was in, I think. Um, but yeah, he's he's fucking, he's a machine, that guy. He's, he's an absolute legend. I love him. He's, he's overcome a lot as well. We've got very similar, so- well, similar stories in terms of overcoming things. Um, but um, yeah, he's he's a very inspirational person as well. Happy days. So what's what's the training like at the minute, then, Jack? What's your sort of average week if you you're building up to a fight? Oh, um, well, I'm in the gym doing all my weightlifting. Um, 
with in correspondence with with the boxing, it's all power related. Um, I'd like to say I'd like to say low weight, uh, plenty of reps, but it's it's more high weight, plenty of reps. Because I'm I'm a strong guy. Um, like I say, it's all power related, so it helps with the boxing. Um, I, I'm in there four times a week. Um, I'm in the boxing gym minimum of twice a week. If I get sparring in on the weekends, great. Um, and yeah, I'm doing doing my little bits at home as well, which is great. Um, I'm loving the training. I, I literally live for it. So, uh, yeah, training's going really well, really well. Oh, fantastic! So it sounds it sounds like you're really ready to to rock and roll then with these fights that are upcoming now. Yeah. Man, mindset, you're hundred percent. You see, I mean, just just talking to you now, the way that you're coming across is you, there's such focus and you know um, that determination, if you like, and that will um, mm. from within. And yeah. I mean, that's got to be a massive, massive strength for you. You know, moving forward with fighting and what you're doing. You know, if you're not confident going into a fight, why the fuck are you fighting? Do you know what I mean? Um, if you're doing it for money, if you're doing it for for fucking reputation, for to look good, to to fucking look hard, you're a fucking idiot because that's not what it's about. It's about out there. It's about overcoming. It's about achieving goals, and it's about making that next step in life. Um, we're only here once. Do you know what I mean? So let's make the most of it. Let's let's properly sort ourselves out and. Uh, there's your lad in the background. What's he talking about? Yeah, let's make honestly though, I want to make the most of it. I wanna I wanna push and I want to um I wanna achieve great things. And like I say, boxing, I'm now British champion, WRSA. Uh, I'll soon be BBO Midlands Area champion. Um might go for an English title now. I don't know, whatever my coach has for me, I'm going for it. Um, but with the bare knuckle, I'm going to be the heavyweight YouTube champion, YouTube awards champion, um, and whatever else Simon or Christian have for me, whether I'll fight in the pit or what, I just don't know. Uh, I've not made these decisions yet, but regardless of what decisions I make, I will achieve my goals. It's 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 something that if anyone if anyone is close to me knows knows me like they do, they know that I do achieve these things. Yeah, I mean that that level of of determination and mindset, I think, is fantastic. And you can you can use that for for whatever you want in life, can't you? Not just about fighting, but you yeah, know, but, yeah. anything really. I've applied it to my business. You know what I mean? I'd, like three years ago, mate, I was homeless. Uh, I was jobless. I was thirty three stone. I'd attempted suicide a few times. I was fucked, mate. Life was over for me. Um, and now look at me. Well, what, I don't know what, what Hey, yeah, yeah. What, 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 what was that catalyst? Do you think, Jack, that 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 sort of moment that that clicked and and you said, "No, enough's enough." You know, I don't. Um, in all honesty, I I seeked help from. Well, I seen a post on social media on Instagram. Um, I replied to it. Um, it was a guy called Rob Heisey, Robert Heisey. Um, he cre- He's he's uh, the number one unconscious mind therapist in the world. The reason this is is because he created uh, unconscious mind therapy. He he um, he, he literally created the, the the therapy, and he he did it with me, um, free of charge, and he uh, he changed my life. He literally changed my life. It was a forty five minute phone call we initially had. My mindset changed from a negative one to a positive one within them forty five minutes. He put me on a diet plan, which enabled me to lose eight stone in eight months healthily as well i didn't i didn't diet it's essentially i didn't diet at all in fact um all i did was cut my food down have smaller portions um obviously now um i've got a sports nutritionist moving forward because obviously you hit a certain weight it, it fucking stops so you you got to start eating healthy and, and moving on like that um but yeah he he, he helped me massively um we we still talk today not in a therapy sort of way, we're very good friends. Um, but for a good a good year and a bit, um, we'd have a we'd have a, a good hour chat every week. Um and he changed my life. I owe my life to him. I literally do. 
that's fantastic. I mean, you know, um, so was his work then sort of based on, say, the unconscious? Is that more about the subconscious, so the parts in your brain that you don't use? As yeah, such so he basically, yeah, he basically teaches you how to manipulate your own mind. Um, and it works. It, it really fucking works. He's worked with people like, in the boxing world, Fabio Wardley, Conor Ben. Um, he's, he's worked with many, many celebrities. Um, and... I never expected a, re- a reply from him. It was a last mi- it was a last resort message towards him. So I knew I knew I was, my aim was to the reason I was so big is because I wanted to die. I, I was eating until I died. Um, I've had two uncles die from being overweight uh, and having heart attacks, and my plan was to do that because that's how I wanted to go. Um, I, I attempted suicide, hang myself. I didn't have the balls, um, and I wanted to die. Hence why I was so big. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it changed my life massively, and um, I, I fully recommend anyone booking in with him who struggles. Um, he's not going to work for everyone. Um, every, all of us are different, but there's no harm in trying, no harm in, uh, in in giving it a go because the guy saved my life and changed my life. So yeah, I'll go and check him out on Instagram, Robert Heisey. What a guy, honestly. Again, I'll 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 add a link to the description yeah. as well, guys, so you can get a link there. And I think any anything like this is yeah. is fantastic for people because you know it's so common for people to have to overcome issues, problems, struggling, um, mental health, and mm. to, the fact that you were able to turn that around in lockdown as well, really. Which yeah, was, in a yeah. way you'd think lockdown would be even more detrimental wouldn't you really because of you know being isolated on your own but um a, a massive massive respect mate in in terms of that and and what you've achieved i mean you know not even taking the fighting into consideration it's i mean it's huge and to me i think it, 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 you got you going into fighting with that strength in the strength behind you it's only gonna benefit you massively going forward yeah. you know um yeah no i agree i agree Fantastic that you've um, that you had that experience and and you are where you are now and 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 that's massive credit to you, Jack. To be fair, um, awesome. and and moving forward as well, mate. I mean, who knows? You might you may have the fight on the twenty first and and think no, nah, I prefer gloved. You may think absolutely love that, and you know there's so many uh, big platforms now as well that that people are fighting on with bare knuckle. I mean. I'm down in London on the 16th for the BKB. Um, and yeah, then I know Jim and Joe quite well. BKFT. Yeah, I know Jim and Joe yeah. quite well from BKB. They're, they're really nice guys. Um, I've been to quite a few of the events. Obviously, Ryan Barrett fights from former uh, Cruiserweight British champion, world title contender with uh, Big Pod as well. Um, so, yeah, it's uh, it's it feels like home at BKB as well. They're, they're really, really good people. So, you never know. You never know. Yeah, well, we're down there on the 16th um, supporting TAF. So, um, yep. yeah, Dean, Dean Morris. So he, yeah, yeah. he fought on last YouTube Wars. I think Simon's going to gonna walk him out as well at, on the 16th, brilliant. which yeah, which brilliant. will be really nice. But, well, Jack, it's been an absolute pleasure talking to you, mate, and, and, um, and getting to know a bit about you and your story as well. I mean, it's one yeah. of those that, like you say, Moving forward, what will be will be. Um, yeah. But no, I'm I'm really looking forward, mate, to seeing how you get on, how you do, and then obviously the twenty first we'll catch up again. Um, it's going to be doing like face offs for the next YouTube wars, and then pre and post fight interviews as well. Um, yeah. So it's going to be an absolute pleasure to meet you there, mate. If I don't see you anywhere before, um, well, I want to thank you ever so much for for your time as well uh, today. Yeah. And um and wish you all the best, mate. I think you've got an amazing story, and it's going to be really exciting to see how it keeps unfolding. Nice one, mate. Appreciate it. Yeah, I, I've enjoyed it. It's uh, yeah. If I can tell more people about my story and I can inspire other people, then uh, that's a massive um, a massive plus for me. Um, I, I pride myself on being selfish, and I don't use selfish in a negative term. I use it in a positive term. 
I do everything for me because if I do everything for me, myself and all my loved ones, my friends and family, the people who are closest to me are all going to benefit as well. So I pride myself on being that selfish person. But then on the other hand, if I can help others in the same breath, then it's a huge, huge positive as well, which I have. I've helped a lot of people. You know what I mean? It's um, it's it's a, it's it really does give me inspiration as well to continue. And I think as well, it's a great message. And and from from coming from yourself as well, you know, um, heavyweight champion already. Like you say, you've you've got the opportunity to have three belts within a matter of, matter of weeks. Um, so to three be belts, able to three belts within a year as well, let's say, of starting boxing. Yeah, huge, huge, yeah, huge, huge, huge achievement. You know, massive, yeah. massive achievement, and 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 huge respect to you for that, mate. Completely. Um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing you fight, and it's gonna be, it's gonna be a hell of a show. I think this this next YouTube was. It's really shaping up to be to be something special. Yeah. Um, so massive, massive respect. Is there any any anyone that you want to to shout out to or? Um, speak about before we wrap up. No, I'm quite quite happy. Content. I've spoke about my coach and friends and people like that who have helped me along the way. So yeah, I'm quite, I'm quite happy with. Uh, I was I was uh, I was uh, gone through this. Yeah, it's been good. I've enjoyed it. Well, guys, it's Jumbo Jack's journey on Instagram. Um, I'll put the link in the description as well. And then also with the um, the chap who, who really helped you out before, Jack, we'll get his right, details yeah, as well. And, yeah, yeah. Yeah, pop that into the description. Guys, if there's anything like um, in past interviews which, you know, hits home, always reach out to someone. You know, you've got Jack there as well. Like the third interview that I've done and the third fighter that says, this is my contact, you can give me a message and, Good you know... Point, yeah. Always massive, massive respect to to you all, mate. Really, to yourself and and Andy and and Taff as well, who who've all said the same. They've you know they've had their own battles and that they've had to overcome. And um, speaking up and speaking out is the way forward. And and you're talking about heavyweight boxing bare knuckle fighters who are saying it's okay to talk, you know, and. Yeah. Huge respect, mate. Massive respect well, to you. Yeah, there is there is one thing I want to say. Um, I'm an ambassador of a, a, a charity that's close to me. I've been a victim of it myself. Um, Ditch the knife value life. It's all about fighting knife crime um, and and helping raise money so we can put the, uh, the all the correct kits around the country to um, to help save a life. Also. Um, uh, a bloke called Hitesh, um, he runs a charity called It's Okay Not To Be Okay. He's brilliant, uh, really, really good guy. Um, and then another guy called uh, Reese Thompson, he runs a, an, another mental health charity um, called the Brotherhood Legion. Um, I'm supporting these three charities moving forward. Um, obviously, Ditch and I value life. Being their official ambassador, um, I, I will support them until the day I die. Um, but yeah, it's okay not to be okay. And uh, the Brotherhood Legion, uh, brilliant, brilliant mental health charities. If anyone has any issues or, or struggles or anything like that, drop them a message. And uh, either Hitesh or, or Reese will really, really help you out. They've been they've been a great help for me, definitely. Jack, if you can send me those um, details yeah. as well, and again, no. I'll I'll add the links in, into the description as well, guys. So it's all it's all there for you. Well, all I can say, Jack, is thanks ever so much for your time um, speaking to you. I look forward to speaking to you again soon, obviously, yeah, with the, you know, with the run-up to YouTube Wars. Um, wish you all the best, mate, as well. Keep in touch as well. Let me know how, how you're getting on um, yeah, with the two fights as well. And and we'll catch up again soon, buddy. But absolute pleasure to meet you. Thanks for your time, mate. You too, and, um, 